Hello, welcome to the Adobe Digital Enterprise Platform Developer video series. Today we're going to be taking a look at installing and running the ADEP RIA Quick Start. First, let's have a look at the prerequisites. For this demo today, I'm running on Windows 7 64 bit. The primary prerequisite is that you have Sun JDK 1.6.0 underscore 26 installed and configured. Um, this is the minimum version required for the platform. If we take a look at my environment variables, you can also see that I've created a variable called Java Home. I've also added Java Home slash bin to my path. You can confirm this by opening a command prompt and running the command java-version. You can see it's properly configured. The next thing I'm going to do is start the server by simply double-clicking the jar. Certainly you can start it on the command line as well, but for this demonstration we'll simply double-click the jar. I'll pause the video for a moment while the server starts up. Now that the server has started, you can see that I'm being challenged for a license key. If you do not already have a license key, you can click the option here to obtain a free trial license. In my case, I already have a license key. Once you enter this information, a license.property file is generated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle the server to an off state. So we've shut down the server. I'll simply copy my license.property file next to the jar and restart the server. After starting the server with a valid license key, you can now see I'm presented with a login panel. The default administrator user is admin admin. Once logging in, I'm presented with the welcome screen. Here you will find links to a variety of tools, including getting started, which includes developer-oriented samples and demonstrations. We'll be covering this in depth in another session. Another thing I'd like to point out is the server startup time. You can see here the startup time in this case was 55 seconds. If you're interested in the startup metrics, you can click startup time to review those. If we take a look at task manager, we can see the process that has been kicked off. Another point of interest is the directory itself. You can see that the CRX quick start directory has been generated. That will conclude our first session on installing and configuring the Adobe Digital Enterprise Platform RIA Quick Start. Thank you.